Hello and welcome or welcome back to my design and lettering channel. My name is Miri and today I'm gonna set up my Bujo planner for July. So grab yourself something to snack and your favorite stationaries and let's get started. July always reminds me of brightness, warmth, fresh fruits and cold drinks. This is why I decided to do a lemon related theme. For the front page I wanted some kind of Toscana garden look with an archway and lemon trees growing behind that. I sketched two parallel half ovals and filled them with outlines to indicate bricks. Then I decided how I wanted my perspective to be and decided to place that somewhere in the upper half and almost in the middle. That is important to sketch the 2D lines of the bricks. After you decided that point, all you need to do is to draw lines from the bricks edges in the direction of the perspective point. The longer you draw that line, the thicker your wall or arch will look. In the next step, I outline the bricks roughly with a grey pigma micron. I'll paint the arch with watercolor afterwards, so it's important to use some pigment ink. If you don't have that, you can color straight away with watercolor or pen and outline the bricks with a fine liner on top after the color dried completely. Or you don't need to outline it at all, but I wanted that painting to have this kind of sketchy look. That is also why I didn't outline every line, but only some here and there. For the coloring, I used my White Nights watercolors. I mixed a light wash of raw sienna with a light brown and a bit of titanium gray from Daniel Smith. In the end, I kind of mixed a yellow ochre, I guess. So if you have that on hand, you can just use that. As I said, I used a really light wash and dabbed the brush on the page to create an uneven look. It easily creates this stony looking texture. With a darker tint of that mix, I colored the inside of the arch and with an even darker tint, I painted the shadow at the back of the archway and around the stones. For the lemons, I started with a light wash of cadmium yellow because I wanted to see how much vibrancy I need. And I need definitely more. <laughs> so I went over it with more pigment almost straight from the pen. But better this way than to start with too much pigment and rip off paper because you want a lighter look, right? Same goes with outlining the leaves. I outlined them with a fine liner first because I thought I wanted only the lemons to have color, but that didn't look as I imagined to look. So I went in with chromium oxide. That's kind of a slightly muted green.
The pots I painted with, I can't even say with what. I just mixed some browns together to get that terracotta looking brown with some burnt amber so that it fits the archway. I darkened the sides where the pots are hiding behind the arch and where I thought they might cast a shadow. Then it was time for the quote page. I chose one of Vincent van Gogh, which says, if you truly love nature, you will find beauty everywhere. And I love that one. I really think one should walk around with eyes wide open because nature is so very beautiful. For example, most people are annoyed by rain. Sometimes I am too, but the color of the meadows and trees after the rain is so so very beautiful the color is so much more vibrant and alive and the smell so fresh and intensive and that's only one example of billions i created the text in procreate first to decide which word i wanted to have where and in what style that really makes things easier for me in fact I painted the whole page in Procreate first because I wasn't sure if it turns out how I wanted it to look. For the text I used a 05 Pigma Micron in dark grey and for the words love and beauty I used a beige Crayola. Which I really love by the way. <laughs> Sometime in the future I have to do a video with my most used items for bullet journaling. <laughs> and I can tell you that. This pen will be in it as well as the Tombow I use in maybe every setup. I rounded the corners for a softer look and ripped some paper to clue that behind. By the way, this paper is some leftover that is found in packages. You know, the paper to protect the items. And I saw that and I thought, it's kind of looking cute. Let's save it. Next, I printed out some newspaper, which I changed in color to fit my used color palette here. I ripped some pieces to glue them at the top and at the bottom of the pages. I really like this ripped paper style. I think I always did. When I was younger, I ripped the pages or burned the edges of my letters or present cards to get some vintagey look. So I guess I still love that look. <laughs> I wrote July on an extra piece of white paper with the beige Crayola. With a Stedtler 3 Plus pen in beige, I colored the rib sides to create this burnt look. It really took the look of the pages to a next level. With a little bit of magic, I cut around July and ripped this warm grey paper to form July as well. Finally, I glued everything into place.
and decided that the place behind the walkway needed some color as well. I used a light wash of blue for a sky, a light wash of green to indicate some grass or forest or something, and some warm gray for the ground. Again, I used tapping motions so the background doesn't look too even. I know it really was a long one, but don't worry, the next pages are faster than. <laughs> Either way, if you like my video so far, I would be happy if you give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. It would help me growing my awesome little community here and you would get some fresh ideas for Bujo setups and other painting or art related stuff. So that's a good old win-win. But let's continue with the column dot page. I used our self-created ruler to mark the spaces for the colander. With the dark gray Pigma Micron in 05, I outlined the box and with a smaller tip, I lined the inner part with incomplete lines. With the beige Crayola, I marked the place for the weekdays and wrote the numbers of the days. With the dark grey Micron, I wrote the weekdays. On the side, I sketched out a lemon tree branch. I colored the lemons with a light wash of crimson yellow first and went over it with more pigment, leaving out a small space for where the sun would hit the lemon. With a mix of yellow and yellow-green, I colored the shadows for the lemons. and then started coloring the leaves. And with little effort, we have a beautiful looking colander spread. The next pages will be my habit tracker and content planner pages. As always, I wrote the title in pencil first and went over it with the beige Crayola. For the tracker itself, I decided to cut out the boxes out of a leftover piece of Bujo paper and glued them on these pieces of ripped off pa packing paper.
To incorporate the newspaper here as well, I ripped off a piece again and glued that on the middle of the pages. For the content page I used the same style as the last month's. I made a thicker line with a Crayola and boxes around that with the pigment liner. The upper box will be to track the status of my current videos. Which one? Release date and check of places for filmed, cut, audio and uploaded. The next one is to track my Instagram postings as I am really bad in continuous posting there. Under that is a place for notes. Now let's decorate this page with another branch of lemons. The steps are the same. The only difference is that I've put some dots of green color on the lemons to indicate the structure. I use this brown paper again, this time for the side tab. And now it was time for the first weekly page. I wrote July with the same Crayola and wrote a mini calendar below that. As July has only two days in the first week and one day in the last, I decided to skip them. That meant I have two double pages to create, which means I don't have an extra page for my shopping list. So I decided to fold an envelope out of this gray brown paper and cut out some stripes of leftover bujo paper and use that as shopping list. As I can use as many stripes as I want, I decided to do another for camping stuff. The weekly spread itself I rounded with the 05 Pigma Micron again. And for the inner lines I used my trusty Tombow N89 as it is the lightest color I have. For that lining I used the incomplete lining method again.
I've cut out a side tab and then sketched out another lemon tree branch hanging off the right corner. The painting steps and colors are the same as before. In the bottom corner, I drew the shakiest and ugliest line on earth. <laughs> ah. So I ripped some pieces of the paper from before and glued them over them. And that will be my places for notes. The last step is to write down the weekdays and that I did with a background line with the Crayola and wrote on top with a white jelly roll. And that's it for this month's setup. How do you like it? I found that somehow the bright paintings of the lemons mixed with the aesthetic color palette of the rest turned out really nice. As I am still using my old journal because there are still two and a half weeks left of June, I really can't wait to finally use the new one. If you watched until the end, leave me a lemon emoji in the info box. That would help me understand the data and stuff and is also a nice way to start little chats. Thank you all for watching and I hope you have a great day. And if not, you can still squeeze some lemons, mix in some sugar and tequila and let go of the worries for some hours. If you don't drink alcohol, good job, that's absolutely healthier, but you can mix in some green tea to have some nice homemade iced tea. I did both, by the way, and celebrated life. <laughs> I hope to see you all in the next video. Cheers and bye bye.